we're already gonna we're gonna start forming our uh, crab uh, crab cake mix in here. Like I was telling you, Amanda, mise en place. This is everything set up to make the crab cake. And so it's all set up. So all we gotta do is just put it in the bowl, mix, form, and then we'll cook it right here. Wow. So let's do that's it. That's how we're gonna do it. All right. Hey, can we? Are we allowed to ask you questions while you cook? Is that yeah, distracting? Go ahead and ask me. No, no. Okay. You, now, you were talking about a five-course meal. Us normal folk, us, us uh, mm. poor folk, can only Never afford. Poor. We're, uh, we can only afford a three-course meal. Where are the other two courses coming from? What are they? Okay, so. Um, nice. Everybody thinks that when somebody says a three course meal, they only think about one. They usually think about one plate and then three separate items on that one plate, and then they think that's the course. Okay. Those, like a salad would be the course. Yeah. And then the protein would be the course, and then the vegetable would be the course. No. No, that's not how it so, goes. No, 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 no. You get five different. Place. Yeah, because I kept, when I was there, I kept thinking, okay, is it over yet? Not because I wanted to rush you, because I was full from what you'd already given me. <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay, how much more can you possibly feed us? So you went so, over there without telling the radio crew? First of didn't all, tell nobody nothing. Nothing. That's what she does. That's what I heard. Oh I heard didn't tell nobody nothing. I didn't know, nothing. Terry. I'm so oh, sorry. No, no. I first of all, person, don't like, apologize. Oh, I was sought after, okay? Well, don't well, apologize well. to them because I was sought after. <laughs> Tell them that you don't need to. Actually, um, shout out to my partners and my friends at um, Harris County Sheriff's Office sponsored your table when she came. So thank you guys. Me and Grossman eat too. So she had a sponsor too. Wow. Didn't have to pay for nothing. Wow. It was a real experience. No wonder we didn't know about it. Wow. And they've been there and they're just like, we see, you, this is Keep going. Keep doing your thing. Um, and then shout out to Valido Foods. Um, the chef and the comedian are officially national because um, Valido Foods are also <laughs> standing behind our brand at Equally Yoke. And they came there today. We use their seasoning and their products in our food now. That's dope. Kenneth, what are you doing right now? So right now I'm mixing up the crab cake batter to okay, actually that, form the crab meat. I mean, and that crab batter meat. includes, are, you, are we allowed to get all that info, like the, the recipe, recipe and everything? Yeah, yeah recipe, yeah, so recipe is just like a library. Just, you just got to go there to get it. Okay. Get the information. So what is she sprinkling on there? This Jeez. is the, bre this is the <laughs> Japanese panko breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. So wow. this is one of the binders. Say whenever that you're making, <laughs> Whenever you're making any kind of croquette or oh, okay, things like you. that, you need a binder. So you need an egg, you need eggs, and you need uh, some type of breading. Gotcha. Just like when grandma used to make those meatballs. She go get some bread, like throw me that bread over that ball, that old bread, and she crumble it up in there. This will be the crisp. Oh, this will be the outside crispy part. Well, it'll be the part that holds together. So my crab cakes are different. Most people do their crab cakes where it's crispy all over, like it's fried. Right. Mine's is just seared on top and bottom, so it stands and holds like a crab cake. But once you eat into it, it falls apart. So you actually mm. taste the crab rather okay. than taste the cake. Now it looks like you have some help. You want to. Who is she? What do you do? So this is this is Aransa. She's my uh, she's my sous chef. But I nicknamed her Ari because you know I her, I love her we name, love but I wanted to be things. short. So Ari, this is my sous chef here. She came from U of H, and I'm gonna tell you the rest of it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Get up on the mic. Get up on the mic. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well. Oh you. Oh goodness. <laughs> Watch it. Hey Ari. You made me Ari. Okay, okay, I'm first employee. I didn't know I was gonna do this. Hello, my name is Ari. I'm the senior. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cooking and, for quite some time. No, sorry, sorry. Um, so I met Chef uh, Kenneth Hamilton through a cooking class at my uh, school. I'm in an organization called TRAC, stands for Texas Restaurant Association. It's a cougar chapter at U of H. Cool. Yep, yeah, shout out. School. Go cool. <laughs> shout out to Go the University of Houston. Thank yeah, definitely. Um, I'm in the hotel restaurant management program. Right. So he came and he taught. Um, what did you, we made, we made a Greek? We made, we made mono soup. Yeah. So it's a Greek, it's a, basically a Greek mm -hmm. soup. Nice. The one you married him, he speaks well. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He made I'm some Aguila Mano soup. <laughs> 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 I don't know what he said But it's either. some Aguila Mano soup. He got, he got about four tongues in his mouth. <laughs> can you repeat that again? My husband is bilingual. He speaks English and Spanish. Say what she said again one more time. Aguila Mano. So Aguila Mano. Aguila Mano. Algo is uh, is Greek. Algo means uh, lemon. No, algo means oil. Lemon. Limono means lemon. 
Yeah. I'm going to He never skipped school. He went to all his classes. He sure did. <laughs> he stayed out front by the teacher. Okay, so <laughs> what, what are your goals? Are what are your goals? What what's your what's your finish line look like? I'm I know you're. Sp- I mean, you're a student right now. Right, so yeah. What does the like, the finish line look like for you? So when it, I first got like into Spartan, <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> when I first got um, into um, the program, I thought I was gonna do something like uh, restaurant managing, and it's not that it's out of the cards. It's just that when I met him, it was kind of like, oh, I want to cook now. Yeah, you want to get your hands dirty. Well, here's the thing. Um, I used to work at a different restaurant, and I spent some time in the kitchen. Not a lot, but some. Like chilies? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, lubes. <laughs> no. 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 About, I'm going to leave my baby alone. Barrel. We're talking about a high-end restaurant. No, actually, it wasn't really necessarily high-end. It was very much, um, how, would I, how would I describe it? It's, uh, it's kind of like, it's fast casual. Yeah, fast casual. So, so this is what we're going to have you guys do. Need you to tell us what the finished product will be. You may have to take this out. Yeah. If that's possible. Uh, All right. I'm about to crick. I'm about to fix it now. It's going to be done in like the next time you finish your meeting. Like, okay. But we do it out. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we this is what I need. Show coming in. Okay. There's another show that comes on. We have Breaking Texas that comes on at 6 o'clock. And so, guys, stay tuned in for that. But first, before we get to that, I need Nisi Hamilton to tell oh, us her social media oh. handles. Hey, you guys. So you can check us out. You know, while I'm thinking about Lamego, Lord Jesus, Lamego, because they sponsor. Hey, Lamego! Thank you for the seasoning. You can check us out on Instagram at Equally Yoked with the number two. You can check us out on Twitter, 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 at E Yoked. Number two? Mm -hmm. I think. It is. Is it? Mm -hmm. Because I tagged you. Father God in the name of Jesus. <laughs> <My mother. laughs> you can check us out on Yelp. Please Yelp us out. All my Yokers, make sure you Yelp us. You yeah. call them Yokers. That's cool. Your yeah. fans are Yokers. Yeah, my fans are Yokers. So once you eat at Equally Yoked, you automatically become a Yoker. I'm a Yoker. Um, yes. Um, yeah. Theo. The She's the only one at the radio station that's a Yoker. Theo Gervais. When are you guys coming? <laughs> hey, 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 when are you guys coming? See, our grand opening is Mother's Day. <laughs> so so I don't know what you guys are doing. Yeah, we just did soft openings. Our grand opening is this Sunday, you guys. So please check us out. Um, we still have some reservations that are open. We will have a celebrity guest coming through. We will not tell you who is coming through. And see, that's the great thing about Equally Go. Never see, know people book, but you don't know who's going to be there. We know who's going to be there. That's why it's a show. So that's, that's why, why it's a show. show. This is an experience. I love it. This it is. is an experience. Community Grossman gives you social media handles. What's up, y'all? Community Grossman on everything. Y'all know that. And this weekend, y'all, I'll be at the Financial Center, y'all, the Mother's Day show. Make sure you come to Financial Center. I'm hosting that. And also tonight, I'll be at Taylor. Taylor! Give your social I am at T H E O underscore Gervais. That's G E R V A I S. You can see me or hear me tomorrow morning at Restoration Radio at 10 a.m. to noon. That is the crackling of some good food. It does. It sounds so beautiful. Is that your social media handles you done? Theo underscore Gervais. All right, guys. Make sure you catch us each and every Monday through Friday from 5 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time here on the new amazing 1225 Station. And we are at...